This plant is Devil's Walking Stick, Aurelia spinosa. And of course you can see where it gets that name due to the really sharp spines that it has on the stem. Uh, this plant gets about 20 feet tall or so and tends to have leaves only at the top. So it looks a little bit like an umbrella. And it's one that you just don't really pay much attention to or notice until it starts to bloom. And so now this plant is in bloom and so you might notice it along roadsides or in natural areas. It's producing these delicate little white flowers that are attractive to pollinators. And also when it produces berries later in the season, birds absolutely love those. This plant actually has the largest leaves of any temperate plant in our country. Um, twice or even triple compound leaves. And so outside of the tropics, these are the largest compound leaves that you would encounter. And a lot of times people wonder, why on earth do plants bother with this whole compound leaf thing? It just makes it confusing to identify them. Uh, but what it is, is it is a trade-off between water loss and capturing sunlight. So a leaf, in order to photosynthesize, water has to go from you know, the roots, up the trunk, out the stem, and to the very edge of each leaf. The whole time it's doing that, the plant is losing water in that process. But if your leaf is very small, you don't capture a lot of sunlight because that one leaf might be in a shady patch. So by having the adaptation of compound leaves, the plant minimizes water loss because the distance between that central vein and the edge of the leaf is smaller. And the size of the leaf itself is huge, so it can cover a large area. So that means some of the leaf will be getting sunshine a lot of the time.